Hey guys, I'm Bob. And I'm Barb, and together we make Headis World. Today we're going to take you on a ride on the Can Am Spider and check out some Indiana covered bridges. We're going to see how many of them we can actually cover. Did you pick on that? Pick up on that? Cover. So come along and enjoy the ride. He doesn't laugh when I make it. <laughs> Here we are, we're at Speedway. We always try to stop at Speedways because this was Bob's company. This is has been the great funder of our 401k over the many years. The Speedway's been very good to us personally, as well as my kids. Um, so we're just filling up the old spider. Once we get on the road full time and we have the diesel, we'll probably do some Speedways, but probably a lot of pilots and loves and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, looking forward to the fun ride today, right Bob? <laughs> Bob, we bought this motorcycle to do exactly this kind of trip. Yeah, we did. We bought it to cruise around state parks and to uh, take these rides through the countryside. The tour that we took today was a six hour tour and it was back in July when we took it. It was like our first big tour after we got the bike. I mean, probably a 130 mile round trip from our starting point to our end point. Um, what you're going to find is if it's a bridge we could drive through, we drove through it and then we'll come back through it. And then there's bridges where I think there's two maybe that you couldn't drive through. So we highly recommend this tour. It was very enjoyable. And if you happen to be in southeastern Indiana, this is the tour to definitely do. It's worth it. The first bridge here is the new Brownsville Covered Bridge. This bridge is a 100-foot bridge, and it is the only long trust structure in Indiana, and it can actually make you feel like you're back in the 1840s. Um, this was probably our favorite of all of them because it's actually inserted into um, a park, the Mill Race Park, and it's kind of the focal point in the circle of this uh, big circular pond that they have. And it's a great recreational park for the area. They've got picnic areas and, you know, running tracks. And of course they've got the bridge. I think they got fishing and boats and, and we couldn't see the whole thing until we went online more and looked, but it's definitely a super cool um, place to visit and actually spend some time. Hey, Barb. Barb, where are you at? Hey, Bob. What's going on? Hey, that's some nice gear you got there. It is nice, isn't it? Where can I find that product for me? It's really easy to get. You just go to headisworld.com. That's where everybody goes so they get the finest merchandise in hats, shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, tote bags. I mean, you name it. We've even got uh, long sleeve t-shirts for the winter coming up. Perfect gift ideas for Christmas. And who designed it? Is Red Square Design and they've got a YouTube channel called Wonder Open Road. So check them out after you check out headisworld.com. Now let me see what I can do for you. Wow, wow. look at you. It's a couple clicks of the mouse and I got new gear myself. New shirt, new hat. What's kind of neat is one is our logo, which Bob is now wearing our logo and featuring it very well on his head and on his chest and Barb is featuring the Come Travel in Our World shirt, which is our slogan. And that's what everybody wants to do. So once again, where do you go to get a great shirt like nobody else has? Headisworld.com.
on our journey today, of course, Indiana is known for its corn fields and its soybean fields, as you can see in some of the video that I've shown here. But we were also very super excited. And what is that milestone, Bob? It was our first thousand miles on the odometer. So we were pretty excited that we were actually able to capture it. Um, I'm going to have a blog that's going to be on our website called headusworld.com where you can read the details of all these bridges and all the history of it. But I've got some better shots of the odometer in case you really want to check it out as opposed to the video, which isn't as good uh, for that part of it anyway. Up, up to this point, the bike is performing as advertised. We really enjoy it. We enjoy the comfort and we enjoy the ride of the vehicle. Yeah, super, super love Can-Am. Love it. Yeah. Now the second bridge we came to is the Westport Covered Bridge. It's actually in Decatur County. It's a little bit more of a trek kind of taking you away from the kind of circular motion of the bridge trail. And it's close to our old stopping grounds of home. Um, but this is probably my favorite bridge as far as looks. It is beautiful and it's just amazing what it looks like. Um, it was built back in the 1880s and it's considered a single span and it was built on limestone because Indiana is known for... Limestone. That's right. Um, and Bob's gonna give you all the details on it. Well, the bridge, it measures 138 feet long. So, and it's uh, 16 feet wide. And this bridge happens to be 13 feet uh, tall, and that's from the top of the arch to the ground. You can't fit an RV through this one, but it's still a very Damn nice bridge. It. Damn it, we are trying to find that covered bridge that will hold the truck. And how, how much is our camper? 13.6, and it's 20,000 pounds. Yeah, so. if we can find the covered bridge that holds our truck, a 20,000 pound camper, and the Can-Am, we're going to we'll, do it. We're going to be happy. <laughs> All right, the third bridge we came across on our tour is the Sipico Covered Bridge. Now that is how Google tells me to say it. So if I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, this bridge is in pretty good condition. It's very well maintained. It's an easy drive through. It's probably not as long as some of the other bridges is what I felt. It was built back in 1886 and then they um, restored it, I guess, back in 1984. And then, Bob, what is all the scoop on it? Okay, yeah, the total length of this bridge is actually 155 feet, and it does have a deck width of uh, 15 feet 7 inches and a vertical clearance deck of 13.4. Ooh, the camper. So we're, we're, get, we're, we're getting close getting now. Getting close. We may, may scrape off a couple of our ACs on the way yeah. through this one. but. <laughs> all right, on to our next bridge. We ended up stopping at this adorable little diner called Apron Strings Diner. They're only open from eight to two. They're in Bedford. But as you can see on the inside, it's totally de decorated with different and all kinds of aprons. But people were super nice. The food was incredibly reasonable. Delicious, delicious, delicious. So thank you so much Apron Strings for giving us a delicious meal, which I had breakfast and you had. I just had a salad with chicken. Chicken. All right, we recommend you guys stop there if you're going through. Fourth bridge on our tour today is the James Covered Bridge. This one is okay looking. I mean, it's in, it's in, all of them are in pretty good shape. It's neither good nor bad, I guess, but it's fun to see and drive through. It was built back in 1887 and it was rehabbed or refurbished back in 2011. So what's the scoop and dimensions on this one? This bridge actually has a, a, a span of 123 feet, but also the total length is 140. The deck width is 
15 foot seven inches, so like a lot of them are got that same deck width, built all in the same era. And then it's got a vertical clearance above as a 14 feet. What's it like driving through the bridge? It's a little scary, but it's okay, it creaks. Well, it's easy on a Can-Am Spider. I think in a dually truck, it might be a little more intimidating, but it's weird because it's they got oak planks on it to protect the decking, the cross hatch of the decking, and uh, it's definitely not made for a three-wheeler. All right, the fifth bridge on our tour today was the Shields Town Bridge. Um, and it is probably the longest bridge, I think, yeah. in our thing today. And it is beautiful. Um, it has flowers that are kind of growing down inside of it. There's there's water rushing underneath it. That's It's got a pretty hefty waterway. Our blog on our website, headusworld.com, you'll see some of those pictures of the water rushing and all that kind of stuff. But this bridge was built back in 1876, and it's a, it's a burr arch. Um, and it is also, like everything else in Indiana, cut out of stone and does have a pier. Now, what is the details on this particular bridge? Well, this, like Barb said, this, this is probably the longest bridge we encountered today, and it was 331 feet long. It does have 12-foot uh, overhangs on the ends. The width of this bridge is 16 feet, and it has a uh, interior height of uh, 12 foot 6 inches. Wah, wah. No camper there, and it was beautiful because it was already floral. Yep. <laughs> the one thing that we did notice in this bridge, too, is there, in all the bridges, there's been some graffiti. But in this bridge, there was some graffiti, and then some old signage was used also. Yeah, it looked like lumber yard kind of signage. Yeah, so it was kind of neat. This was a, this was strictly a walk-through bridge. It led yes. across over to another piece of property, so it's... It's blocked. I mean, I guess you could, if you had a small motorcycle, you could you could duck through the- um, Or a bicycle. Yeah, you could or go past the piers and <laughs> cruise on in if there. But... If you're a skinny two-wheeler, you can maybe get in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. All right, our next bridge is the Ma Medora Covered Bridge. And Bob, you stand corrected. Yep. This is actually the longest covered bridge in the United States. With the entire original historic truss that is still in place, it's had some teeny little bit of repairs, but no structural changes. So it is definitely the longest and, and still best in shape bridge there is. So it clears the span of 431 feet so it's kind of a super cool bridge. It is a nice looking bridge. Um, it's up there with the Westport covered bridge as far as I'm concerned. It's got the name on it, so it's very attractive, but yeah, it's kind of neat. Okay, the next bridge is the Ramp Creek Covered Bridge, and it is actually part of the Brown County State Park, State Park mm -hmm. which is by Brown County. It's in Brown County by the fun little town of Nashville, yes. Indiana, which is a great fun place to visit. But this bridge was built in 1838, and it's a single span birch arch trust bridge. And it's like 96 feet long with additional seven foot overhang on each end. Um, it is the only two lane covered bridge in Indiana with both lanes being 11 feet wide and 12 feet high. And then I guess in 1932, they were going to dismantle it and get rid of it. But 
we had a person come in, spearheaded a movement to kind of move it from where it was over into the park and make it a historical structure. And all the bridges in this session that we're going through today are on the historical register. Yeah, the National Register. Okay, so on to the next park. Okay, so this bridge is known as the Williams Covered Bridge. So what you see is what you get. We can only get a little video and picture of it from the road. We could not find it. Our GPS took us right to where you see it, and that's where it is. All right, this bridge was built in 1884, and what are the specs on it? It is a 402 foot in length, and it has 13 foot overhangs. And it's actually in the National Registers of Historic Places. That's probably why you can't get to it. <laughs> All right, on to the next bridge. Okay, so this is our last uh, covered bridge, which is the Bean Blossom Covered Bridge. And uh, yeah, we ended up trying to find it and came across a road that was graveled and in not very good shape. It looked like they were doing maybe some construction on it or something. So we thought, well, maybe we'll try to drive up the hill and see if we can see it off the hill. And what we found was a biker wedding, which was a lot of fun. I mean, we, we didn't participate in the wedding, but we stayed for a little bit and saw some of the festivities and the view was beautiful, but the answer is no. You cannot see the bridge when you get to the top of the hill. It's buried down in there. <clears throat> but this is a, um, it's, it's pretty much closed off from our understanding, our research online. I do have a picture inserted, of course, here. It was built in 1880 and it is a non-drivable bridge. It's a foot walking bridge. But my understanding from everything I read online is that it's beautiful to see. Yeah, this was a, a fairly small bridge, uh, the largest span 57 feet. The total length is 101 feet and the deck width is uh, 11 8. So that pretty much wraps up our Indiana tour of bridges, covered yeah. bridges in southeastern Indiana. So we really hoped that you enjoyed this tour. So remember, we're Head of Swirl. Come travel in our world. <laughs>